Put your hands up. We're playing our song. Blah, 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 wow, blah, this blah, is blah, completely blah. off the cuff. It's training with ICBA. Training with ICBA. Come on, Carrie. You don't love wow. Miley Cyrus? It's an outstanding song. Hi, everyone. Training Thursday here for Thursday, November the 9th. Oh, I'm Jordan Bateman, slightly jet lagged from coming back from Ottawa so very late last night. A little tired, yeah. Yep, yeah, and feeling um, sleepy. So I'm just going to turn it over to. Carrie Vital, Program Manager for the Training Department at ICBA. Also tired, but not for that reason, just tired in general. Just because tired in general. Fun times. Yes. Um. <laughs> Vital by name, vital by nature, et cetera, yes. et cetera. Yes. Um, Carrie, I've been away for a few days. You have. Um, with That's America correct. Canada, which is our federal advocacy organization mm -hmm. that ICBA is a part of, and ICBA Alberta. Um, meeting with MPs, Ooh, the political lovely. glitterati in Ottawa. So fancy. And the thing I've learned is, thank God I'm not an MP. <laughs> like that trip is a long trip from Vancouver. God oh, bless. Man. God yeah. bless the people like Tico Van Popta and Brad Viss and Todd yeah. Doherty and um, all the folks from Mark Straw from British Columbia, like who go and serve the people in Ottawa <laughs> because that is a heck of a commute. Yeah, and, it would be. Um, you know, it's a totally different world <sighs> there on the other I'm side sure. of Canada. Yeah, I'm sure it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, <laughs> thank you for your service. Right. Although, here, I'll say one thing about Ottawa. I was. Um, it's uh, Remembrance Day, obviously, in a couple of days. Right. Yes. And uh, thank you to, in all seriousness, thank you to our veterans for everything you do, those who serve in the Canadian Forces to make sure that people like Carrie and I can sit here and do dumb stuff like training Thursday. <laughs> um, you know, pretty amazing. But the Peace Tower, mm -hmm. now it's under renovation, but you can still see the Peace Tower kind of from behind the hoarding. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, PCLL is on, GC's on that. Amazing. Um, and hard to find people who are experienced in stone masonry of that caliber anymore. Right. So they're kind of relearning the trade, <laughs> oh, the nice. craft as they go along. Yeah. But on the Peace Tower, every night uh, for the first uh, 11 days of November, they project poppies on it. Oh, and these poppies I love are it. falling. And yep. 117,000 poppies fall every night. That's one for every uh, Canadian who's died in a war or died in the service to the country uh, wow. since the first day of World War One. And That's amazing. Yeah, that really would be. Yeah, and then by the Eternal Flame, they have a, a big video screen yep. that kind of rotates through photos of veterans mm -hmm. um, and those who have given their lives. And I found that very, it's really touching. Like, it's very emotional when you're standing there and you just, you know, the, the poppies just keep coming. These yeah, poppies project on this giant peace tower in front of you, mm -hmm. you know, falling a few at a time. And it's, I um, love that. I would, like, be crying, just not even yeah. going to lie. Because yeah. I'm getting, I'm like, whew. Right now, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, you, you, know that's you, you walk up to Parliament Hill and you're kind of chattering away, chattering away, and then you kind of see it and you, yeah. you realize the scale of it. And like, for hours, these poppies will fall every mm -hmm. night. That's and, amazing. And um, yeah, it, behind that, it, uh, there's a, a person. And then the other thing they have is they have a room of remembrance. So mm -hmm. when you go into question period or to see the legislative debate, you go through basically airport security. In fact, it was worse than I would kind of hope so, though, considering yes. what it is. Yes, <laughs> and you go around, but there's this little room of remembrance, and it's uh, it reminded me it, with its feel and the, uh, it's hard to explain, but like when you go to an old cathedral in yep. Britain, uh, you know, in Scotland, I mean, Iona Abbey, for example, um, in uh, Western Scotland, there's this kind of sense, this reverence that comes over you. Yes. Whether you believe or not, you know, there's this definite reverence, like this is a place that is holy. It's, it's, yes, it's sacred. It's sacred, maybe be the better word. They have five books, mm -hmm. hand calligraphy, and every day they turn a page on these books, and it's every, the name of every person who died for their country. Wow. And, you know, they just, someone goes <laughs> in, and, and, and it's a really, like, that stuff is something that we don't do well here on the West Coast. No, we don't. Because we're kind of unplugged from it. Yeah. Um, all that to say, November 11th, Saturday, go to a cenotaph, go to a local Remembrance Day parade, yeah. um, wear your poppy, and you know, thank a veteran for, uh, for what they gave. Absolutely. All right. Lovely. Let's talk about it. Uh, sorry. Let's talk about I didn't training. Need to talk about all that, but I'm feeling no, very, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah. it, it's important to remember because I think, like you said, we are very removed from it. Yes. Um, I know that I've definitely seen a lot fewer people wearing poppies this year than I have in mm -hmm. the past. Um, it's cash. I think people don't have the cash on them anymore. Apparently, there are some that you can actually tap. Yes. So my husband's poppy, he doesn't usually carry cash, mm -hmm. and so he was just able to tap his yeah. Apple Watch, I think, and put in a couple bucks. Yeah and get his poppy, yeah. but yeah. But yeah, more of those, okay.
for sure. What are we talking about? What's our future course? Woo! Strategic planning for growth. Okay. Uh, it is one that we haven't had in a little while. I think we may have last done it in 2021. Um, so it is November 22nd no and 23rd. No one's been growing since 2021? Uh, I think they revamped it a little okay. bit because I think the course description changed. So I think there was kind gotcha. of a whole process of that one. But so it's seven hours over two, two days, yeah. uh, 8.30 to 12 both days, 22nd and 23rd of November. We're doing it again, um, I believe, in March. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're not able to make this one, but uh, business success is not an accident, it is planned, yet very few construction companies regularly practice any type of strategic planning. Um, it will transform your business. Imagine being able to make better than average profi profits, expand your capacity, ensure success, and build a healthier company. It's designed. To, this course is designed to do just that. Isn't a miracle cure? I'm not going to tell you it is, um, oh. but it's, it is a program that teaches I the fundamentals. I know. Teaches the fundamentals of strategic planning to construction professionals. Mm. So. so yeah, look, you wouldn't build a house without a plan. Hopefully not. You wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't install uh, anything structural without a plan. Why are you building business without a plan? Right. You know, I, we get it. It's been so crazy um, these past few years that people have just been running from project, 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 and stacking them up. But you know, we're heading into a recession. We're heading into a slowdown. The labor shortage is worse than ever. Yeah. Um, now is the time to you know. Take a couple days and just think about the future of your business. Do some strategic planning, and you know you won't like Carrie says you won't take every tool that no. these folks present to you. But if you take a few and it helps, you know your productivity down the road, that's a, a, a big accomplishment. Absolutely. So. So and yeah. one gold for credit, seven BC Housing CBD oh, points. Yeah. Uh, we are coming up to the last like, like six of weeks need. of the year. So if you have not gotten your BC Housing points. Please do so. We don't want you to lose your license. Yes. Uh, that would be very pro yes. <laughs> problematic. We get so. panic calls every January from people. Who we are do. Like, ah. uh, but yeah, but. so this one has BC housing points. We have a lot of online mm -hmm. self-paced courses that do. So if that works better yeah. for you. But yeah, please yeah. Uh, visit our calendar. So <laughs> match the link below, icbatraining.ca or icbat.ca slash courses to go straight to the course catalog. Yes. Um, you mentioned Gold Seal Credits. We ran into the Constructing, uh, mm -hmm. Canadian Construction Association. They were uh, meet, doing some meetings as well. Nice. Saw our good friends, uh, Matt Pitcairn from BC Road He told us this, yes. And heavy, <laughs> not equipment operators, heavy Const self construction. Yeah. Construction and, Association. Uh, construction Association. Yeah. And uh, also Nikki Keith. Nice. Because uh, you can't one, do of a my, one of our favorite humans. You can't yeah. do a construction conference in this country no. without Nikki Keith you from Wilson cannot. Mack being there. Absolutely not. Um, so that was good times. Nice. Um, yeah, Matt and Chris and Mike Martins went out for dinner. Yes, he told us that in passing. He said, oh, yeah, I saw you guys yesterday. Mm -hmm. So that was funny. Yeah, so that's good <laughs> stuff. Nice. Um, yeah, great times all around. And yes, yeah, so just to say CCA, the Gold Seal Credit is obviously very important in the industry. And it was nice to run into them. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Word on the street, though, is uh, Mary's retiring. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Interesting. There you go. A little, little nugget of news for you. If you've made it nine minutes into this uh, training Thursday, you know, I don't uh, know if it's been announced publicly, but there you go. Well, I, now you know. Buzz on the street is Interesting. Mary is retiring. All right. There you go. Um, I don't know when. I don't know how. But and some point. It may have already been announced, but I haven't seen it yet. So. No, not that I know. Anyways, congratulations wow. to her on a great career. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. We will be back next week on mm -hmm. uh, the 16th. That's also ICBA and CIBP AGM day. That's a lot of acronyms. It really is. <laughs> but you know, if you're a member of ICBA, watch your email. You should be signing up for the AGM. Uh, if you're on our benefit plan, you should do the same because um, we need your votes in order to board of directors. We're doing Absolutely. some constitutional changes so that ICBA Alberta is legal. <laughs> That's an important thing to have. Mike Martins yeah. would really appreciate it if you would please. Please and thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that is on the 16th. Watch your emails nice. and have a great long weekend. Yeah.